Hi guys, how are you doing? My name is Ben from Starlight Reviews and today I'm going to be reviewing the Bosch Series 4 dishwasher which I have here. So before we get started, let's go through a quick product overview. Okay, so there's a very quick look over the machine. Let's have a look at some of the features then. So we turn it on just with the button on the left of the control panel. And as you see, this little digital display comes up with the time uh, in the middle of the control panel. The six buttons just either side of this uh, panel are the program buttons. So you have six different programs on this machine. Uh, the 70 degree intensive, the 45 to 65 degree auto, the 50 degree eco, a silence 50 degree, uh, glass which is at 40 degree and finally a quick wash at 45 degrees as well. Now these program timings uh, do vary and you can control them. Uh, just on the top left uh, you have a variable speed button so at the moment we're set to eco 50 degrees and it's showing a time of 3 hours and 30 minutes. So if I click that, that brings it down to 1 hour and 10 minutes. And all these programs um, have uh, variable timings on them. So you can adjust them to whatever suits you. You also have an extra setting called Hygiene Plus, um, which you can click on, which gives it uh, a higher high temperature to operate at, so that the dishes come out essentially cleaner. You also have an extra dry setting as well, which is just on the, uh, on the left underneath. Over to the right hand side then you have your start in hour buttons, uh, plus and minus. And basically what this is, it means you can delay the start time of your dishwasher. So it means that you can set it off um, to start several hours if you're leaving it overnight or whilst you're at work. And finally, um, the bottom right button, you have machine care. So if you need to clean the machine, it will operate a self-clean program. Click that on, that takes an hour 30 or again, Nope, it just takes an hour 30. You can't vary that one. Um, you've then got to press the start button. You can also use this as a reset button. Uh, so you can uh, cancel the program if you put the wrong one on. Press and hold it for three seconds. It will reset, run through a, a minute cycle just to clear itself out and go again. So when I received this dishwasher, it came with all the usual attachments that you'd expect. So it came with the wastewater pipe and also the clean water in pipe. And this is a really thin uh, pipe by comparison to my previous model. So I'd assume that it, it draws water at a slower um, flow than, than my previous one, or that it's a high pressure hose. You also get the, uh, the plug with it. Um, pretty standard with most uh, dishwashers I know. Uh, but this one's a little bit different in that uh, the cable itself is, uh, can be removed. So instead of having to um, fold it over the top whilst you lug it around, um, it simply pulls out the back of the machine and then you have just the plug cable itself. Which is a really handy little thing. The amount of times I've been shifting appliances like this and the plug gets caught up and dragged along the floor. Nice little handy feature. So if you're anything like me, you've decided you need a new dishwasher and you need to see the complete range before you make a decision. Well, in all fairness, there isn't a lot between uh, most dishwashers in terms of features. Um, so when it comes to selecting one, really, I suppose your, your biggest opinion will be based on price. Um, however, it's worth going over with some of the little features that I've learned about the machine since owning it. Uh, so it might be able to uh, uh, sway your decision on what kind of appliance you want. So now if we have a look inside the dishwasher then, uh, we'll start at the door. Um, it's probably not a, um, a, a major selling point, but certainly I quite like it. And that's the fact that um, when I close the door, you don't have to put a lot of effort into it. It more or less does it itself and you can hear the audible click uh, of the machine shutting. Nice sealed. Um, spot on so you don't have to put any undue pressure against the door. 
The next thing then is the uh, sliding mechanism for inserting the detergent or dishwasher tablet into the machine. Um, it has the sliding door, um, which you can see in the uh, product overview, and next to that is also where you add the uh, additional um, liquid. Uh, and you do get a little bottle of this free with the machine when you first uh, get it, nice and handy. So actually, if we have a look over the, the inside of the machine then, you have essentially three different uh, racks to put your dishes and cutlery in. Now my previous machine had a um, cutlery basket, and I quite like this because you can just throw it in nice and handy. However, this one's a little bit different, and this has a dedicated tray where you put your cutlery in. Uh, it means I can fit a hell of a lot more cutlery in than I did on my, on my basket. Um, but it does take a bit more effort because you have to line all the cutlery up individually uh, in the rack. Uh, the other problem is if you're using a, a, any bigger utensils to cook with and you want to stick them in the dishwasher, unfortunately they can't go in this little tray here because they simply won't fit. Here's a quick video to show you. So aside from that, I quite like it. Uh, it means I can fit a hell of a lot more uh, cutlery in and it just keeps it all separate and it actually they actually come out a lot cleaner than they did when I was using the basket so nice little feature there. The next rack you have down I traditionally use this one for all my cups and glasses, mugs, glasses, pint glasses, things like that. Um, nice little handy tray it, it, uh, it can fit probably about five rows of glasses depending on what size you use. Now I use a lot of pint glasses I'll just prefer to have a bigger glass. Um, unfortunately, uh, just in the centre of the tray, because the cutlery tray dips down, um, you might have some problems in fitting the larger glasses in this section. But not too worried because they fit fine at the sides and then all your um, smaller ones can go in the middle. So moving on to the bottom then, you have your crockery rack. And this has uh, some adjustable features on it just at the back, um, which are on screen now. These are really handy if you use different um, different sorts of dishes and that you want them to remain held in place um, you can adjust these how you need to see fit. So if you're concerned about the energy rating of this, this machine is an A++ rated machine which means it's just one step below the top rating of uh, energy efficiency. Uh, the water consumption rates vary between the programs so depending on what your common use is then you can tailor it to what your needs are. Now the first time I used this machine, I have to admit, I cancelled the program twice, uh, only because I wasn't 100% sure that it was working or not. In actual fact, it's that quiet by comparison to my previous model um, that I didn't think it was, I didn't think it started. Uh, this wasn't even on the uh, silent setting either, it was just on the eco setting. Uh, and it really is, uh, in full operation, you can barely hear the machine. It's got a rating of 46 decibels, uh, which is really low. Um, so when it's running, I can't even hear it in my kitchen. So overall then, uh, it's a really great dishwasher. I do have to get used to using a cutlery drawer instead of a cutlery basket, but that's something I can learn to live with. Uh, it's got a huge capacity, perfect for my uh, medium-sized family, and uh, I like the fact that it's whisper quiet throughout the operation.